credits. Uh, today is the 1st of uh, June uh, 2011 and a happy trading to you all. Uh, uh, for those of you who are new to us, we are the TSTW24 uh, traders and our website is www.stochastic-macd.com Okay, now what's happening man, what's happening man, we have here the Apple stock uh, on the monthly chart, okay? And uh, yesterday we did uh, a YouTube video that we titled Game Changer Trading Tips. Uh, we have not yet posted that video on our channel uh, due to a lack of time uh, to do all this. Uh, we will do it uh, today, my apology for that. So look out for uh, the Game Changer Trading Tips. We're going to continue again today talking about Apple stock, okay? Because we have noticed something uh, a bit uh, strange. This is about the politics of uh, uh, trading. I hope uh, you don't mind a bit of uh, blah 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 blah. Okay, apart from the technical, we will do a bit of blah 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 today about the uh, market manipulation and all the politics, okay, and all the rest of it, okay, something that uh, we like to talk about today, okay. So get ready, ladies and gentlemen. We have noticed yesterday that uh, Apple stock must come down, okay. Now, why are we doing this video? Because this is the second time that we have noticed uh, this kind of uh, strange, a bit word a bit uh, strange all right thing uh, in this uh, stock uh, we need to tell you that so you can be aware of it okay now you can imagine that i'm a bit excited oh okay? here okay now what's happening yesterday we have noticed clearly that apple was in a hotspot trading zone so how do we know by drawing our channel and projecting our channel as we always do okay you know the dream now so we project in our channel we project in our channel we need hey Apple is in a hot spot trading zone. Here, yeah, no denial about that. We were looking for opportunity to sell. We were not interested to buy Apple yesterday. Okay? But look what happened to Apple. Apple went up. Magic. Apple went up big time. Okay? Nice one. Now, if you watch the video that uh, we are about to post it uh, on our channel, look for it, the Game Changer Trading Tips, which we did yesterday, because we were thinking to do a live trading on Apple yesterday, and uh, we placed order below somewhere here, as the market did open yesterday, uh, because uh, what we were saying, you may watch that video, Game Changer Trading Tips, and we draw our, uh, because on this, uh, we were on the 3 minute chart, uh, watching Apple, so let's do it properly. So we want a three minute chart watching Apple during that time. And uh, in this zone here, uh, Apple was consolidating after gapping. Okay, we show you if you remember, uh, if you watch the video, you notice there was a gap up. Okay, first we were telling you that the middle of the gap window, this window here, the gap window is a very important support level. So we were watching Apple here and waiting for Apple to come uh, this way down, down okay so order has been placed below this low here you see this uh the tail of this candle here order being placed be, be below that low to sell apple okay and uh and uh, with uh, the intention of placing stop uh, loss order above uh, the high that pop up of the channel you see this small channel here because the pipe d below it and the final support we want to sell below the low of that low and place our stop loss above this uh, uh, high here that was the intention okay as you i told you the price the number one indicator the price okay there was a, a clear cut uh, a buy opportunity here uh, where the, uh, uh, the the trend line here you see the trend line here has been broken you see broken kaput okay a bit of german okay guten tag guten morgen because we have a uh, few uh, uh, german traders excellent traders okay so i mean uh, we can also speak a bit of german okay so this is what's happened here now so this this uh trend line has been broken okay a bit of uh, retest of the top of uh, the 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 range here okay and people bought it here it was running we were not interested to buy uh, apple because according to our view we don't want to buy and we stick to our um away we don't want to buy it we don't want to buy it here okay we want to sell it instead okay because of what we have seen on the uh, monthly chart but apple went up that's what i'm talking about okay so we we didn't try to force our homework on uh, apple stock and say calm down calm down you must calm down you must calm down you are you're going to calm down no 
he, he ran away and that's what he did that's what the pride did and uh, again here you can see clearly that uh, um, the price uh, uh, was uh, displaying the higher lows all the way up to that zone you see nice move to the upside always but what is very interesting this is the second time we noticed this so we thought that uh, you like a bit of uh, conspiracy theory uh, video and uh, we decided to do this video for you is that we have noticed something very simple but don't tell anyone because it's a bit uh, a secret here that's what we are putting on youtube because it's a secret all right now we have noticed last time that uh, apple was due to come down okay for one reason you are not that there was some excellent news regarding apple during that time when apple was due to come down so we say that hey apple can do miracle because they can know exactly when their stock is about to go down and they will come with some excellent news to change the dynamic of the market so we say this is very interesting so yesterday we knew that apple was due for a bit of a healthy pullback okay so we were looking for opportunity to sell so, but we remember what has happened last time that uh, whenever apple stock is about to go down don't tell anyone okay you are likely to see excellent news so instead of the price going down the price may go up so this is can be a powerful trading method okay so we want to share with you as you see yesterday you see we were expecting to go down what do we see when i was checking my uh, a, a galaxy tab now on the footsie okay the, not the footsie the financial time i saw this important news can you believe that a great news okay the market just opened now as you can see apple has just gap up here as you can see gap again so what i'm going to do this is very interesting as i'm doing this little video live for you we're going to see it now okay so it gap today again uh today is the first of june it gap again we're going to watch it now so this is very good okay so new york has just opened now so apple again gap big time big time okay but still we are in a horse spot trading zone and we are not interested to buy apple okay so so when i was looking at my galaxy tab okay i hope you don't mind me speaking like this today by the way i'm not drunk i'm fully 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 uh, awake uh, you know i'm not drunk at all so now i was looking at my galaxy tab and i checked uh, the foot uh, the financial time okay the, the online financial time news and uh, there was this uh, excellent news about apple apple to launch iCloud and i said to myself well this is the second time this is happening okay so apple is about to go down okay we were expecting them the dow jones and all the rest of uh, the market to follow the, uh, the apple store to go down and the good news again being released and i said well I'm, uh, i must share this with uh, the tstw 24 now it's coming down okay coming down we watch it now you have to draw the middle line of uh, the window of uh, your uh, the gap okay so watch the middle line here this one here watch it okay watch the middle line there as i'm talking to you you just follow my uh, story because i'm a bit excited about this apple stock and uh, they they create excellent product okay i use ipad also so i mean i know that is an excellent product but something very interesting so this uh, there was this new apple to launch okay icloud and I, I get so excited about it and i say well this must be a powerful trading system apple is about to go down expect excellent news okay and the market may go in opposite direction all right so well so what what was written here was a bit interesting uh, the financial time did excellent job so you can go to www.financialtime.com and uh, uh, look for uh icloud okay that's indian okay uh, uh, the now well, i forget my uh, thing now okay icloud uh, is uh, icloud i for i a cloud for cloud okay so and uh, India Charlie, uh, Lima, uh, Oscar, uh, uh, Uniform, uh, uh, Delta, okay? So, that's it. Now, because I'm too excited, I'm forgetting things, so, okay? India Charlie, Lima, okay? Oscar, okay? Uniform and uh, Delta, okay? iCloud, all right. 
So what was written here a bit, uh, as you can see, I'm a bit excited. You see how the price came and touched uh, the midline of the window of the gap. So you, you know it now, you see. So watch it, watch it, okay. So the, it was written here, ladies and gentlemen, my friend TSTW24 traders, TSTWSYSA08 traders, TSTWSYSA008 traders, all of you, my friend, it was written here. Don't tell anyone, okay? That's why we are posting it on YouTube. Don't even share this video, okay? All right. Now, it's written that Apple has taken, listen, unusual step unusual step to pre-announce a broad push into cloud service this is unusual unusual it's not always like this so they pre-announce it for the first time they never done it before very interesting okay to allow its customers okay to connect online now the the financial time went on to say that um, the U.S. tech giant also revealed that the CEO, Steve Jobs, who has been on medical leave since January, will appear publicly next week as part of the announcement of what he dubbed the iCloud. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is very interesting because they never done it before. They, they always keep the secret till the last minute. They never announce it, okay? What are they going to do? They never said it. But yesterday, can you believe it? They did it. They even said it that Steve Jobs will be there, even though they never said it before that he will be there. The guy who is sick at the moment or medical leave, okay? They even pre announce it. They pre announce that it's going to be iCloud. They pre announce that Steve Jobs will be there, okay? So this is, uh, I'm just reading here. This is how the, uh, the Financial Times put it gorgeously. Um, the gentleman uh, who wrote this, his name is Robinson, a lovely Robinson. This was posted on the Financial Times, okay, at uh, 5, okay, 15 a.m., okay, and this, uh, okay, 5.15 a.m., okay, on the 1st of June. All right. So, now, by the way, this is very interesting. I hope uh, you enjoy it also. So as you can see, the price came and touched the middle of the window and uh, found the support there. Now it's running away. Now if you see Apple running away like this, you know that Dow Jones is likely to run away. You will see that uh, all the Euro USD or the blah 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 will follow uh, Apple. But we do not want to buy Apple in this zone because of what we see on the monthly chart. To continue with my lovely story, if you don't mind, what we have noticed that Anytime Apple is about to go down, Apple will come with some excellent news. Oh, so now there's something you can be aware of, okay? So next time we post a video that uh, Apple is about to go down, you may expect, okay, the opposite of what we are saying to you. All right, so this is it. Uh, I mean, <laughs> Okay, so yesterday this one we were seeing. Okay, so I hope uh, you like this. Uh, blah 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 blah. So this was happened. So Dow Jones was going down big time yesterday, and then um, as soon as we see uh, this uh, Apple start going up, we we, we know that uh, the the Dow Jones will follow. We take our profit, and uh, we were not prepared to buy uh, Apple even today, even though it's going up. As I told you, you see here, it touched it here on this three minute chart and start running fast, but as we don't want to to buy uh, apple now because uh, of where we are on the monthly chart okay so be aware of uh, all the blah 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 in the market and uh, i don't know they are they are allowed to do that which is perfectly okay but it's just uh, very interesting that it's happening all the time so this is the second time the next time if it happen again expect again a video like this where i will be talking to you uh, with a funny voice okay and uh, maybe we can uh, i mean uh, use that opportunity okay to do a live trading okay to show you how this is happening so uh, we are still in a hotspot trading zone if we project our channel will bring us up somewhere here in the zone of uh, uh four uh zero 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 okay four thousand zone here for the apple stock okay so if you project our channel so if you start running fast non-stop 
destination in the region of uh, 40000, okay, for Apple stock, but we do not want to uh, buy back. As you can see, the price deep down, some traders are buying here, but uh, because you can see the range here of uh, this, uh, the movement, the range here is telling where Apple is, it went up one, one time, and then a second time, and for us, that's enough, okay, that's enough, okay, and, uh, we talked last time about uh, we posted on uh, our uh, Twitter, uh, Twitter. Okay, you look at uh, George Trio, Twitter at George Trio, and uh, we were saying that we give a definition of uh, a crazy trader. Now you know that uh, we usually use that word crazy trader. No one is a crazy trader, so very important. No trader is a crazy trader. We are all crazy traders. We name the USD yen currency pair crazy trader, crazy uh, currency pair because of the hedging activity and uh, how that particular uh, currency pair behave. But it's nothing crazy about it. It's just a way to put it. Okay, we do not uh, insult anybody. We respect all traders and pay attention to them. Very important. Okay, so uh, if we look on the yearly chart of Apple, what do we have here? Okay look at the yearly chart of Apple you see that there was a consolidation here on this uh, yearly chart from 2007 up to 2009 break out of the consolidation zone on the yearly chart here and then boom up huge move in 2010 like gold and silver okay so Apple is following okay the commodity market big time okay now so and then now Apple this is the 2011 and start going up again what do we do we divide the range of 2010 okay and project it from here to the other side okay which give us a bit of idea if you do that okay if you don't mind me doing that what i'm going to do now i'll remove all my line on this uh, uh, chart and try to go a bit uh, into the mind of uh, this uh, apple stock okay <laughs> so to speak okay so we go from here on a yearly chart okay and uh, we put also so I leave the range like this. So this is the range of the the, the 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 consolidation period. If you accept that on the yearly chart, and boom, it brings us uh, somewhere here, which is uh, where the price reaches uh, at the end of uh, 2010. Okay, so projection again to the other side. I don't have enough room to do the projection. Instead, I will do the half of the the range, which I'm trying to do half of the range and project it to the other side. Okay. So which will bring us, uh, if you accept this, so that will be somewhere here in the region of uh, uh, 38419, okay, 38419, okay. But another thing you need to pay attention to, if we divide again this uh, a small range again into, nothing is stopping you to do your division, okay. Uh, so with this will bring us, if you put just this small size uh, range of this one to this level here, believe me the professional are doing this okay do not forget that okay that will bring us uh now that belfry is somewhere uh, yeah i hope so somewhere here okay so that's uh the bigger that's the bigger uh range divided by four okay so divided by two is uh, this size divided by four is uh, this small side here so the range from here to this level here projection to the other side will bring us here in this zone of uh, two, uh, three five six one six for apple stock as you can see the price hit that level okay and uh, some it's my money took profit here and we are again near that zone on the yearly chart we cannot deny that okay looking at the market pattern the price is trending to the upside okay we are now in June, which is six months so far, and this is all we got so far. Last year, that's what we got, okay? That's what we got now, okay? So, do not forget that we have exceeded the range, okay? That was the consolidation zone after the 2010. We are now above it, okay? So, we are at a critical point. That's why we do not want to buy Apple, even though it's going up, okay? So, that's what we decided to do. That's our choice. And we, we look here on this... Uh, a monthly chart we do projection of our range again the same thing we see we are the edge of uh, this zone here again and uh, apple is still going up like i told you before anytime apple is going to go down they come up with some excellent news either it's a uh, ipad one or ipad two or or now it's the iCloud. iCloud okay so there is uh, a clear-cut uh, indication that uh, this company is very serious about their 
the way their stock is progressing. So be aware of that, okay? That, uh, I mean, um, if they, the, the, the stock is going to go down, uh, the, the company will come up with uh, excellent product to support the movement to the upside, okay? So it's nothing wrong with that, okay? But uh, we can perfectly mention that to traders so they can be aware of uh, uh, the reality of the market. Going back to the three minute chart, like I show you today, with the gap up again here, and uh, if you look at uh, Dow Jones or you look at the Euro USD, I will show you. Uh, let, let's see uh, the Australian dollar, US dollar currency pair. It's not following Apple right now. Uh, it's not. I'm very surprised. It's not following Apple right now. That's this is the the Australian dollar, US dollar currency pair. Maybe later on. Yesterday also, it did not follow Apple very much. So very interesting uh, for this. Uh, uh, so we go back to Apple. Like I told you, uh, we sh we show you this uh, clearly in front of you when the market did gap up okay and uh, we were telling you that uh, it will uh, uh, come down and touch the middle line of uh, the gap which uh, they did okay uh, touch the middle one uh, of the gap and uh, and uh, this was happened okay they touch the middle and they now they start going up okay so as soon as we come out of the range again on this three minute chart of the gap we project the gap to the other side which some trader did now that's why the price found a bit of resistance there you see in that zone here somewhere here okay the range is a powerful tool and uh, is free okay you can perfectly apply it in your own uh, uh, trading method we use the tsw24 tsw sy08 around hot spot trading zone okay so nothing is stopping you again to project it here on the three minute chart as you can see it's a stable data the projection of the channel okay so apple is, and you see traders are respecting the key level okay so they know that uh, this uh, middle line is a support level price drip down to that level they take it from there they bring it up first stop middle of the second channel projection next stop here edge here we are watching this zone here we are not buying apple right now we don't want to buy it may go up more more we don't want to buy we look for other candidate that we can perfectly buy but not apple okay so here again some trader will respond again we'll watch it now as we are doing this live now maybe we'll learn something the next uh, target will be the middle of the top uh, range again somewhere here i would draw a horizontal line that will be the first target somebody was asking me about exit strategy if you are buying your exit strategy is based on the resistance line above uh, your buying point okay so the price moving from one support level to the next resistance level you will decide to take your profit at the next and nearest resistance level if you are happy with it if you decide to let it run you will manage your trade carefully knowing that you are approaching resistance level some trader may exit the trend and some sellers will try to sell at that point so you control it after you break it you may seek the next level it does not have to some trader think that he will get there, he does not have to. He may turn around here, he may continue there, or he may not. Okay? Just follow the price. So next target here on this 3 minute chart. Let's see whether we're going to hit it now on this uh, live chart of Apple. Okay. So moving on, let, let's see. Usually these people who are trading Apple are serious traders and they would like to hit their target. We will see whether they're going to hit it now if they don't hit it that will be a bit of weakness because we don't we want to sell instead we don't want to buy it so if if they fail to hit the middle one here <laughs> we bear we start salivating as usual like pavlov dog <laughs> uh, looking for a clear cut a sell signal okay no cutting corners all right as you can see i'm a bit uh, excited today all right so uh this is what's going on now looking at uh, because um, the Australian dollar, US dollar currency pair. We see whether it's responding to Apple move, a bit of uh, movement slowly. Okay, we go back to Apple again, and see. By the way, uh, uh, we know that uh, the Dow Jones, by all means, will follow uh, this Apple as it's dragging the market to the upside. But sometimes Apple can perfectly go up, and the market can go down. Okay, so don't take it like a. a uh, it must be is always so now the, our second target being hit now uh, the middle one is hit now so watch it whether some trader would take profit here or not if they did not if they don't take profit it means that it, it is very bullish okay watch it whether they're going to take profit here or not we'll look at it okay let it run let it run let's see what's going to happen um
okay some traders are taking profit we are on the three minute chart okay if you like uh, we can perfectly go to the one minute chart. The, when you are changing time frame you are trying to zoom into the price so this is the one minute chart now so we can uh, watch it i do not trade on the one minute chart okay i do not okay now the, the, the lower time frame is for entry point okay so i know some traders trade on the low of those those are small time frame uh, but uh, it's for scalping mostly they use it for uh, to scalp okay those who are dealing with a huge amount of money they use those lower time frame especially the banks okay D especially when there is a low volatility they come to those lower time frame to scalp i'm not a scalper as a person uh it does not suit my personality but i can perfectly scalp okay but we are on the one minute chart now as you can see to zoom into the price okay so watch it okay it's quite a bullish as you can see oh, huge here is flying vertical whenever i see the price going vertical like this uh, you you need to manage it carefully now how can you do that you can do that by drawing a channel okay that's how you manage the vertical move to the upside okay so this is it vertical move to the upside no rush no rush okay that's it so you watch it like this and see whether you're going to continue uh, to fly or not okay you see how the pipe came touch it hit it come back touch it now it's going to come and test this one I'll do uh, I'm again have my, my level here again we are the edge of this level now okay so watch it okay next target this level but before that the middle line as always okay let me remove uh, uh, that nonsense there okay next target this one here the horizontal line watch it okay watch that one here this one here okay so that's how you will do your exit strategy uh, monitoring the price you see you have your channel now ready and now you are just uh, taking it like a step by step as the price progresses into the upside by the way i'm not trading this now as i'm doing this uh the time is london now is uh, uh 51 minutes past 2 uh, p.m london time 9 51 eastern time today is the first of june okay uh, this is uh, uh to for this video is for educational purpose now our target again is hit here the middle line of uh, this uh, uh, okay now it's hit now boom okay next level okay this one here so you see now some traders are taking you see how the price touch it and retrace back down some traders take profit fast okay you can perfectly place the limit uh, uh, order there to come out okay so you you allow the computer to do that for you so you enter and then you will you place your, your limit order to come out as soon as the price hit it it will uh, just uh, let it out let you out okay and here again we watch what's going to happen here quite bullish so far as you can see uh, the market gap up up to this level of uh, 3916 retrace back down uh, near this zone of uh, 3829 and then uh, run from uh, this level of uh, uh, call it uh, uh, uh yes uh, now three three four eight six five three four eight six five okay the price is now at three five one okay uh eight six okay so <laughs> that's uh, a gorgeous move a gorgeous move to the upside okay so it's, it's still going up non stop because of the i cloud as i told you another new pro uh, product to, to bring the market up so there's another level here as the price going up you see it's hitting this level here the price progressing you're on the lower time frame you keep watching the higher time frame uh, i have too many drawings like i did on the one meter that's why it's so messy here you're still watching the higher time frame to see what's happening here some traders they see all the tail of this candle is a buy opportunity for them we do not want to buy apple in this zone at all so i mean you can look for another uh, financial instrument to trade if you don't want to trade one financial instrument you look for another one so we're watching apple now slowly by surely uh, on this chart okay i hope the video is not too long as this i'm telling you now this video is for educational purposes only it's neither a solicitation nor an offer to buy or sell any financial instrument and it's primarily for the tstw as well as a zero a zero eight a traders tstw as well zero eight and tstw 24 traders now you watch it now it hit uh, this level some traders taking profit that's how you will exit your trade and uh, locating the key level okay now if you pop out of the channel you know the drill now i mean uh, some of you should repeat it now already 
because uh, you know the drill uh, projection of a channel okay so you project our channel now okay and now uh, you watch out for the middle line of your channel here okay now it is popping out a bit okay we watch it carefully watch it watch it don't rush if you rush if you rush okay they may kick you out some trader will decide to sell straight away here okay i won't sell there okay i won't sell here okay I won't sell here. You see this, uh, the, this, uh, this is the best place to sell below this low here. Because why, why this is the best place to sell? Some people will say, that's completely stupid. But in normal condition, this is the best place to sell. Because you see the price was in an uptrend display, higher lows and higher highs. Higher lows, higher highs. If you take out this uh, higher low here, that's bearish. But at least you wanted to take this uh, higher high here. Okay, either below here or here. So, that's it. What I can do, um, because we are bearish towards uh, this uh, Apple stock, okay. Not 100% bearish, a bit bearish, but in, because we, well we are on the monthly chart. So it's the previous high here. Okay, watch it. Okay, watch the previous high. Okay, now some trader, you see, they are buying here. Watch this level. If it take this previous high, okay, it will become more interesting to the bear. Okay, so far. They, they, even though they, this channel is broken, it's still bullish because this high is still is still perfect here. Okay, the price can perfectly turn around here. That's where some trader, those who are rushing, as soon as the channel is broken, some people will rush and sell. That's why they call aggressive traders. I mean, I like to call them crazy traders. <laughs> All right, but they, these people don't think that uh, they don't know what they are doing. Okay if they have uh, excellent money management and this is their trading strategy and they know what they are doing don't think that is uh, crazy like i'm saying it's crazy okay but <laughs> we like to call them crazy traders okay now so this this is where we are watching this the, the line here better line here the previous low higher low here if this is taken out okay that's uh, a bearish part is going to begin okay because this is the last higher low, okay? It failed to display in the uptrend, like I told you, in the uptrend, the price might display higher lows and higher highs until the price fail to display a new higher highs, okay? If it fail to display a new higher high, that's a weakness of the uptrend. It does not mean that the uptrend will return down, but it's a weakness. We will acknowledge that, okay? And pay attention, okay? I don't want the video to be too long. I hope you enjoy my blah, 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 blah that uh, you will put into practice <laughs> all right in order to cream the market uh, consistently uh, thank you for watching and uh, we will speak to you uh, very soon